So this is the same foam that we used in my video on how to make a Nightwing emblem. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's pretty awesome because I'm awesome. You're awesome. We're awesome together. So this is two pieces of foam. And you're going to have one to make the R and the one just to have as the background. So this is me. I didn't use a template. I drew that. This is my design. And I cut it out with an exacto blade and I drew it out myself with pen so that's why the still it's still like you know not as great as it would be if I look for a template but I look for one and they were all big so whatever and then this is basically the thing that goes on the chest and as you can see I made it a little bit bigger than three inches um, and you can do whatever size you want that's the size that I used and I just cut it out and overlapped it and what I did is I cut it a little bit um, just to make it look kind of like a buckle. You know, like how it looks on his chest. It looks kind of like a buckle or whatever it is, like a clip or something. So I did that. And I got some yellow paint. And I painted it on there. And people ask me um, always, because I always put a, a, a coat of half um, Elmer's glue and half water. And people always ask me, oh, what if you don't put it on? This is the only time that I haven't, I didn't put it on. I just wanted to see how it, you know, if it would paint well. I needed like three paints just to like make it look um, more yellow instead of those like slight hints of pink you could see in there. And then also with the R, you can see where I put the marker. So I don't know if that would have changed if I would have put, you know, half glue and half water uh, coat. So I don't know. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, the half glue and half water thing, go check out the emblem video. I explain it better on there. Um, and this is like, I think my second or third coat. I think I put, in total I put three coats. This is a second. <clears throat> so I finally put three coats and it actually looked um, good without, you know, the lines showing. This is the third coat. You can't see the lines anymore. And you just put the yellow thing on top of the black thing and that's it. You glue it. See, it's the back. I glued it. Um, you might want to paint the edges when you're done after it finishes drying but for the most part you're done with your robin emblem i just used a random shirt actually this is a 2013 stanley cup championship chicago blackhawk shirt if you didn't know now you know and i turned it inside out so it's, it's just like a test run you know i probably find an, an under armor shirt that has like the emblem where the, where, I want, where i want to put the r or just find a, you know red spandex whatever <clears throat> and just glue it on there but this is me just put it on there just so you can see how it looks. And that's pretty much it. Remember to subscribe up there. Favorite, share. Do me a favor by liking the video. And liking me on Facebook so you're giving me two thumbs up. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I don't know what else to say besides thank you for watching. That was my how to make a Robin costume. Um, so you have the emblem and the buckles. <clears throat> And all you really need is just like either spandex or whatever. And this is actually, I taped it on the shirt. I didn't glue it on there. Because like I said, this is a, a Blackhawk shirt. So I'm not going to ruin that. I'm going to keep that forever and ever. I just turned it inside out. And yeah, that's how it looks with tape. So imagine if you glue it on there, it's nice and snug. It'll look way better. And click on these videos if you haven't seen these videos. And that's pretty much it, guys. And uh, bye-bye.